Why do you recommend scraping every itchy dog? So Demodex can often mimic allergies because when dogs have secondary skin infections, it can cause pruritus. So demodectic mange is generally considered to be a non predict disease, but if it's secondarily infected, they can be itchy and it can mimic allergies. So for that reason, every dog that comes into my clinic, I scrape so that I'm not missing any demodectic patients. And why should you squeeze the skin when scraping and how hard should you squeeze? So the demodectic mange mite actually lives inside of the hair follicle, which means that it's not on the surface of the skin. So you want to do a gentle squeeze, not so much that you're hurting the pet, and you want to scrape until you have a little bit of capillary blood. So you don't want to lacerate them or have them oozing, but you want to make sure you get deep enough so if the mites in the follicle, you're finding it. And uh, what would you say, in your opinion, are the two most common causes for um, failure of mite therapy in dogs? So I think the most common cause of demodectic mite treatment failure is one, giving them steroids at the same time. Steroids should not be given to dogs with demodex. It can make it much harder to get rid of the infection. And second, secondly, dogs that have demodex where their secondary bacterial infection isn't resolved will often not respond well to therapy. So make sure you have them on appropriate antimicrobial therapy for appropriate length of time. And if they're not responding, do skin cultures so you can make sure they're on the right treatment. How long should we be treating? So dogs need to be on mite medication until they've had three negative skin scrapings. And a negative scraping means a negative scraping. So nothing dead, no eggs, nothing, zero, zip, zilch. For three negative scrapings at one month intervals is what I usually do. And if you're scraping a dog that doesn't have any lesions left, where do you scrape at? So if I'm scraping a dog, I probably would already scrape them before and hopefully their hair is growing back and they're doing better. So I'll still scrape those locations. Sometimes you have to shave them to really get at the skin, which clients don't always like. But usually if you're consistent in scraping in the same places, you can track therapy well.